What's up guys, this is Godzilla here, and today we got a lot of information pertaining to the next Call of Duty. I mean, we are finally putting the pieces of the puzzle together to give us an idea of what we're going to be playing for the next year of our lives. So we got all sorts of information revealed today. We got official reveal date, in-game pictures, the plot for the next Call of Duty, and a possible title, all within this commentary. So I'm very excited to share this information with you. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the official reveal date, or when we're actually going to get a reveal, is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Sunday. So yes. We are so we're so close away. I was hoping we get something today since it was May the first, but we are not that far away from May the fourth at all. And I expect as we get closer to May the fourth that we'll see leaked images of some sort. You know, obviously this is a time where information's coming from everywhere and anything. So. Definitely, we'll have to uh, try to process all this information we're receiving at one time. I know we've like we've been cooped up all year. We haven't heard anything from this new Call of Duty. Now all of a sudden, bam, we're hit with all this information. It's almost overwhelming, but exciting at the same time. So the official Call of Duty website has been updated with a blurred image and a countdown timer, which ends about 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on May the 4th. So that's when I expect the trailer to be dropped and us to actually see the Call of Duty title, reveal date, and all that information. So if we take a look at this picture from Game Informer, it clearly shows us the time zone that this COD is going to be taking place in. A more near future time zone. So also it leaves them open for what kind of guns they can use and stuff like that. So this is going to have kind of effect on everything for us. Multiplayer and campaign. Gun wise, weapon wise, and perk wise and all that stuff. So definitely this gets me excited because they're, they can be more creative since it's in the future. They're not tied down via history and having to go by what they was using that certain time zone. They can come up with guns but still keep it more realistic at the same time like they did kind of with Black Ops 2. So this gives them more more creative abilities than normal and I think it's just going to be really good for the Call of Duty franchise. But also this picture shows us, if you look really closely it, they're wearing some sort of exoskeleton suit. So I mean, I don't know how this is going to tie in to the multiplayer or if it's just solely for the campaign but it'd be pretty awesome. This gives us some abilities that we didn't have in previous Call of Duties like being able to run on walls or have extra strength or something like that. I'm kind of curious to see how they implement this into Call of Duty 2014 as it is known as for right now. Hopefully that's going to be changing in a matter of of a few days and also this image shows us the graphic fidelity of this new game I mean look at the graphics it looks very realistic I am so excited because they always said leading up to this point that the graphics are going to be amazing they're going to be something that we've like we've never seen before and this truly is amazing and I'm wowed at the fact of what they could do and just really makes me more excited to see more in-game pictures so it's looking more and more likely that the next Call of Duty will not be called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 but rather called Call of Duty Advanced War Warfare, or at least have the initials AW for the sub-brand. So what led us to this conclusion? Well, there's a single image on the official Call of Duty Google Plus page that was named COD AW Google Header JPEG. So it's also well known that Activision has the rights to advance warfare with, along with other similar names since March 11, 2010, so they've been planning this thing years in advance. And seeing how Call of Duty seems to be based in the future or near future, this is the best lead we have at the moment. Also, if you remember a person who got a hold of that supposed Call of Duty 2014 files a few months ago, he described a futuristic gun that had a blue text and a symbol that looked like A over a W that was stamped on the gun. So an A over a W, probably meaning advanced warfare for the title. And lastly, if you take a look at the image for the official reveal, it says a new era. So possibly meaning it's not going to be a continuation of the Modern Warfare series, but rather a new sub-brand for the Call of Duty franchise. And I think this is awesome. I think this is what they're going to do. I think they want to be innovative with this new Call of Duty. I think that's exactly where they're going to go. But we'll know for sure on Sunday. Day. Now we actually kind of already know the plot for this upcoming Call of Duty. Activision hasn't been too shy about disclosing and discussing the plot. We know it's about it's going to be about private military corporations and their rise. They talked about you know they linked us to all these different websites talking about that. And they also uploaded a video talking about it, so I definitely think they're pointing us into the direction of this. Now, it's definitely going to have a big impact on the campaign, but I don't think as much on the multiplayer. I think multiplayer is going to be more based on the future. That's what the biggest impact it's going to have on the multiplayer as a kind of time zone, not necessarily what the bad guy is or what the antagonist is. So what happens when the people you pay get a better offer, and that's the big quote, and that's what they're using with this one. And I definitely think that's going to be appearing in the trailer as well. Speaking about the antagonist in Call of Duty, there's actually a report saying that Kevin Spacey will have a villain role in the next Call of Duty. Now, not much is known at this point whether you know this is true or not, but there was an audio file that was leaked yesterday. Now, this could be a part of his HBO show that he has, but because there's to me, there's no direct connection. But I'll give you guys the quote anyway, just in case. 
And it says, and you think you can just march to these countries based on some fundamentalist religious principles, drop a few bombs, topple a dictator, and start a democracy? Give me a break. And then that's the end of the quote right there. So, you know, like I said, there's nothing directly connecting it to Call of Duty. So this could just be a coincidence from his show. You know, someone got a you know, leaked episode or some sort. I don't know. But, you know, at this time, it's a developing story. So we're going to need more information to really consider this uh, factual or some sort. So let me know what you guys think about all this information that we received today. I know it's a lot to process, but it's awesome and good news. This is actually the, the best news we've received all year long, the most detailed news other than that picture a few weeks ago. I'm going to be doing my best to try to cover every piece in Call of Duty 2014 news that gets released over the next couple days because this is crucial. You know, I'm going to try to keep you guys up to date. The stuff is, you know, the internet is buzzing right now all over the place, so information is constantly being revealed. We just got to find it. We really just got to keep digging, and I'm sure that we'll find a lot of information before the world reveals. So let me know, know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in future Call of Duty videos.